Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different, showing you guys the transformation I did with this Dollar Tree vase into this alcohol ink resin vase. Before getting into the rest of this video, I just want to make sure you guys are following proper epoxy resin safety. Um, please make sure that you're wearing nitrile gloves and that you are in a well-ventilated room, preferably a garage or a porch because the air filters better in those areas and wearing a full respiratory mask. The mask that I'm showing is not a full respiratory, but the one that I'm about to show is the proper one that I think everyone should have. So the items that you'll be needing are a vase and like I said before, I got my vase from Dollar Tree and some spray paint and the one that I'm using is in the finished flat and in the color white. You're also going to need 91% rubbing alcohol. I recommend this um, percentage because I did try it with 70% and it didn't work as well with the blending and some brushes as well as alcohol inks and this is the brand Jacquard if I'm saying that correctly and alcohol blending solution. And the resin that I'll be using today is by the brand Art & Glow. To pour my alcohol in and my inks, I'm going to be using these number 5 cups. I went ahead and did one layer of spray paint. All I did was turn the vase upside down onto a piece of cardboard and then I sprayed it outside and I let it dry for a few hours. I'm going to start applying the alcohol blending solution and I'm going to use a brush and apply a thin layer of it and then allow it to dry to a kind of tacky consistency. While the vase was drying, I set up my station and I poured some 91% alcohol into the cup. And you want to make sure you're using 91% alcohol because I tried it with 70% and it the colors didn't blend as well as with the 91%. So, But now I'm just taking my um, brush and I'm going to get into applying the alcohol inks to the um, dried vase and I'm going to take my brush and dip it into the alcohol inks and then I'm going to just start applying lines over onto the vase. It doesn't really matter the way that the lines look because when you um, take the alcohol um, it's going to start blending it into each other. So now I'm going to take my brush and dip it into alcohol and you're going to see me pat onto my paper towel because you don't want to have too much alcohol on your brush because it will make the colors bleed a little bit too much and run off into areas that you don't want it to. So you see I'm just putting a patting motion into the blue color and I like to work out with one color at a time just so I don't make everything get muddy too quickly and you're going to see how when I get to the pink area um, I also just work with that color and I make sure my brush is clean but you'll also see the alcohol starts to blend the colors and make it into a purple-ish color but you just want to work one color at a time so it doesn't get like too muddy too fast.
If you're wanting to blend the colors a little bit more and move them around, all you have to do is wait for the alcohol inks that are already on there to dry for a little bit. It doesn't take that long for them to dry and then go back in with some more alcohol and you can move them around like you're seeing me do here in this clip. In areas that I want more color, I just go back in with my brush once it's dry with some more alcohol inks and then I apply some more alcohol just to blend that color in with the other inks that are on the vase already. So I did this whole process on the entire vase. It did take me a few hours to do so. And now you can see I'm just going into areas where I wanna add some more colors or make the colors look a little bit more um, lighter. And then I'm going to be moving on to the next part of this tutorial. So this part of the tutorial is totally optional, but I wanted to add some gold accents to my piece. So I'm just using some gold flakes and Mod Podge and I'm applying the Mod Podge with a brush on the vase and then I am applying the flakes on them. And then I'm going to allow that to dry before I um, start dusting off the flakes with a brush. This part is also optional, so I'm using um, the gold alcohol ink and I'm going to apply it to my vase as well in some areas that I felt like I wanted a little bit more gold. As you can see, I'm kind of gold obsessed, but it came out cute. So I allowed my vase to dry for about 12 hours before I got into my first layer of resin because when I did this method before, I noticed when I didn't wait, the resin made the alcohol inks fade away and blend into the vase. Now onto the resin portion of this video. I'm just showing you guys how I set up my vase onto my cup turner that was sent to me by the brand Nodaway. I'll make sure to leave all their information down in the description box below. I've already messed it up even though I've only used it 
a few times but you guys gonna see me put a piece of cardboard just to catch any drippings from the resin so now I'm just mixing my resin and I'm going to allow it to sit for five minutes and I did add some gold pigment to it just these little glitter pigments so it'll have a like a sparkly effect to it and I'm in no way an expert of doing these like tumbler cups on these um, on this cup turner so I might be doing it wrong but I did watch a few videos so hopefully I'm doing it correctly but all I'm gonna do is start pouring the resin onto the vase and I'm going to just like drop it and then use my finger to like catch it and smooth it onto um, the vase I like I've tried it with a brush and I did not like the way that it came out so I can see why people just use their finger to do this because you can really feel where the resin is going and it just makes it easier You also want to make sure that you're applying resin to the bottom of the vase as well and making sure to smooth it out correctly and you don't want to make um, the bottom of the vase and the lip around the top too heavy with resin when you're swiping it because sometimes the resin will gather in those areas so I just go back and forth in a sweeping motion with my um, index finger and I'm just wiping the resin and making sure it's nice and smooth and there's not too much resin in certain areas is So now I'm just going to use a heat gun just to pop out any bubbles because you will notice them as it's spinning and I'm going to allow this to spin for about 14 to 18 hours before I get into sanding it. Now I'm using a 800 grit um, sandpaper. I don't even think I should have been using this for the resin, but this was the only um, sandpaper I could find. I have some other ones, but I just could not find it. So it ended up working and smoothing out the areas that I needed with that either from the gold foil or from bubbles. So it worked out fine in this um, instance. But yeah, maybe a um, lower grit will work better for the sanding, but yeah. I did not show this part but I did wash the vase with soap and water after sanding it and then I took a paper towel with 91% rubbing alcohol and I wiped it over the vase before I got into my resin. So I'm going to start mixing my resin again and then I'm going to allow it to sit for about 5 to 10 minutes before I start pouring um, it onto my face for its second layer and you can see I'm just using the same exact um, method that I did the first for the first layer and I'm just um, pouring the resin onto the vase and then using my index finger to catch it and smooth it onto it For this second layer, you just really want to make sure it's nice and smooth. So you can see I'm just taking my index finger and just really smoothing everything out and making sure um, some areas don't have um, too much resin. And yeah. I don't know what is going on with this angle. I guess my camera had shifted or something, but I'm just taking my heat gun and just applying some heat just to pop any bubbles out. So now I'm taking my index finger and just smoothing everything out and periodically while the vase was turning, I would come back in and just check to make sure there's no um, dips in the resin and if there were, I would just go back in and just smooth it out a little bit 
after a certain point the resin will get too thick so you want to just make sure um, you don't do it when it gets too thick because you can ruin the piece so I let the vase spin for about 12 hours and then I took it off the cup turner and I let it dry and cure in my porch and then after 24 hours this is what the vase looks like with some flowers in it and I hope you guys enjoy this video and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and share this video with your friends and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now! Mm -hmm.